Well, now we've come along this side, uh, so straight out of some thick sand, right onto some sort of crop from farmer's land. And uh, pretty nice, just relaxed, smooth track now. Uh, yeah, really varying sort of terrain out here. It seems to change every, I don't know, five kilometers. Pretty cool, I suppose. You know, like, you know, you don't want it to be the same stuff the whole time. But it's yeah, it's just nice. I reckon we go this way. Okay. Yeah. Now we're on this. Uh, it's hard pack. It's blasting. It's really quite awesome running <laughs> in this sand, but then going into these forest areas. So you've got these pine trees, well, not pine trees, but these really green, thick trees all around you, and the roots are just straight into the sand. It's such an odd sense. You know, kind of, in my mind, I'm thinking it should be snow or something, but it's just living out here in the desert. So I'm carrying five litres extra fuel. So I've got my 18 on my IMS. I've got five in one of my bags. And I'm carrying five litres water in another jerry can. And I've got three litres in my uh, camel pack. So eight litres of water. That's four litres a day. And I've got 23 litres of fuel to try and do 530 kilometres. So, I'm making a real effort to not just rev the tits off this bike, just to try and, I mean, I'm riding through sand, right? So it's, but I'm just trying to be gentle with the throttle, because I need to really stretch that 23 litres. I've calculated it so that I'm either going to make it or I'm not. <laughs> right on the edge so only time will tell all right what are we on here pine plains pine plains four kilometers of pine plains maybe i was right maybe they were fine sit rep yeah. chris has lost a one-way valve. valve for his fuel that that's was, gone that was, that was everything else is on his bike thomas has popped his front chris bag I think that's going to be full of sand. And his camel pack is broken, so it's been leaking water all over his back and ass. Um, and we just passed the cyclist with one of those bicycles with big wheels. Not far now. Where are we nearly at? Underbull. Underbull. We've got fuel, getting fuel at Underbull. Hopefully lunch. And then from there, it's 500 kilometers with no fuel stops back around to camp. Will we make it? Don't know, it's a long way. Most likely not. Oh, the pack saddle. So much weight on his back, the poor fucker. Chris, it's modified episode two of, of my series. That's him. It's the WR in action again. Seen a lot that bike. Seen a lot. All right, we made it to Underbull. 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 I'm so bad at pronouncing Australian names. Underbull. 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 Anyway, look how convenient that is. Here's the petrol. Petrol station. 128. Amazing.
All right, some teamwork here filling up. Yeah, yeah. Is it going? Chris? No, no, I can probably take more. Alright, we just pulled out of the pool. Uh, it's been about maybe 10 kilometers of tarmac, and then you turn right onto the Murray Sunset. Uh, sign, it's a pretty big one, I miss it. So we're going to try and get to red something, red hut, red bucket, red rocket uh, campground. We've got probably just over 100 kilometers more to go, but uh, it's 2 o'clock now. We kind of would like to be set up uh, a campfire for I had a chat to one of the locals and he said that this is pretty much what the road's going to be like uh, on the northern section of this whole big loop. So, I mean, we should make we should make that camp pretty quickly. Uh, especially if we're just sitting here at 80, 90 per hour. This sort of surface uh, is going to be pretty, pretty good this year. But, saying that now, let's see what happens. There's one of the lakes, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I think we should, uh, we should go have a look. Oh yeah, look at this. Well, this is a campground if you wanted to stay here, like Crosby Campground. One of the pink lakes. Yeah, that's a pink lake. One of the one of them. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it would be good if we could ride down there, but yeah, I don't think you're allowed to. Wow! Look at that. Look at that. That is sensational. It's like a mirror. It's just flat. Flat as hell. Wow. Wow. Four by fours only. Four by fours only and dirt bikes. Alright, so back into some sort of a sand. And uh well, let's see how long this lasts for. Honeymoon hot. Lol. It was nice to get into some different stuff for a bit. What? The normal road was getting a bit boring there. Yeah. Wearing my tires too much too. We're about a third of the way. minutes and we've only just done the uh, third of it so we still got a lot more to go which is a bit 
worrying because that main section we were going on for like 100k an hour flat road, so now that we're in a bit more sand like desert conditions, our speed's going to be a lot slower. Um, so, yeah, let's see. Chris alongside me here, which makes it a little bit fun. A few dog fights. Oh, my bike's now 10,000 kilometers old. Yeehaw! That didn't take too long. Awesome. Mm -hmm. 